Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to my channel, Gabbing Ginger. So I wanted to get on here and talk about one of my favorite companies um, called Thread Up, and it's basically an online consignment store where you can buy and sell your loved clothing. So I have used them several times now, both in I've sold some of my stuff and I have purchased some stuff and I had some credits and I reached out to them and I actually have been featured in a couple of their um, newsletters. So I had gotten credits from that. So um, I love partnering with them and I'm excited to bring you this video because I am 15 and a half weeks pregnant and I don't know about you guys but I have a really hard time spending money on maternity clothes that I know I'm only going to wear for a short season of life um so my first pregnancy I think I had five or six pieces of maternity clothing um like some leggings a pair of jeans you know, a couple of basics. I had a dress, you know, just like some basic items. But my pregnancy that time around, I wasn't pregnant at all during the summer. So I was, I was able to wear a lot of bigger shirts and cardigans and stuff like that while I'm going to be pregnant over the summer. And my shorts aren't going to work. My, some of my shirts won't work. So I wanted to get some great items, but I didn't want to pay full price. So ThreadUp is the perfect solution um, for secondhand items that are a lot of times actually new. You'll see some of the stuff I got is has tags on it still. So they are a great company. I'll make sure to link their information for you guys. It's just it's a great solution. Even sometimes if you're just looking for something, like if there was a sweater from J. Crew you really liked or anything like that, just hop on there and you can see, um, you know, what they have available in your size. You, there's a lot of different search features on there. So it's super easy to just kind of weed out the stuff you don't want to see. Um, they have kids clothes. So there's just a lot of options and it's all online so you can do it in your pajamas at home, which is even nicer. So, and they have a great um, you know, return policy. So it's not like if you purchase something, you can't send it back if it doesn't work because you know you tried on and it just isn't for you. So. It's, it's a really good company that I have really enjoyed working with and I'm excited to show you guys what um, you can get. And I want to say that all of this stuff I got for right around $100 I use. I, and that's $100 like without my credits. So I had some credits and things like that. So and I almost always have a discount promo code going on. So make sure to always look for that. And, you know, if you get friends to sign up, there's just different ways to earn credits. And then when you sell your stuff, you can either get the cash from it or you can transfer that to credits. So that's something else you can do. And the sell back process is super easy. I have blogged about it before my blog, so I'll try to find that and link it below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So a couple things I didn't invest in my first pregnancy was workout stuff. Um, I was able to get a lot of things through most of my pregnancy, um, but I wore a lot of like some of my bigger long sleeve shirts and stuff like that because I was not pregnant in he the heat, but I will be this time. So I got this super cute um, just workout tank and I'm really excited. I think it's a cute color and it fits really well. It's super soft and it's long. So I always like long stuff. Um... And then same goes, I was able to just wear like workout shorts or just some different workout pants, but some of them weren't really workout pants, they were leggings. And um, so they got really hot when I would work out, which, you know, was fine when it wasn't 100 degrees out. So I got a couple of um, just cute little black workout things. Um, I am of the pregnancy type that I like things to go above my belly. 
Um, I'm short, so I don't have a lot of torso space and I tend, well, I have, I'm, you carry low to begin with anyways, but I carried my first pregnancy low in this one. I can already tell when I wear like my regular jeans, it hurts. So I get the over the belly kind. And then this is just another simple pair of black workout pants and these are gap. So this one was gap and this one was my splurge and they are super soft. They're like super, they feel like a good quality workout legging. Not that the gap ones don't, but the gap ones are a little bit thicker. Um, these feel a little bit more similar to like Lululemon workout pants. They are called beyond the bump. So this was my splurge piece. It was the only piece I think above $15. So, and then the cute little top was, let me go see what brand, Old Navy. So that's that. So those were my workout things. And then the rest of the items are more casual gear. So um, one of the first things I got was just this cute little, it's just a little t-shirt. And I liked that it's a maternity shirt without the like ruching on the side. Um, I did get one with ruching, but especially when you're not super pregnant yet, the ruching is sometimes kind of awkward if your belly is not like pushing it out, if that makes sense. So I like this green color. I'm a redhead, so kind of that army green. And I could wear this shirt when I'm not pregnant. So that's another bonus. Um, then I got this red motherhood maternity shirt. This is really kind of for football. I'm an OU Sooners fan and I hate stretching out like my like my OU shirts because they're a little more expensive and I usually only get like one a year but they last for several years. So um, I figured I could wear this for like football stuff um, and it would just be a good, you know, shirt, just a t-shirt for summer. Um, I got a pair of maternity shorts. Like I said, I like the over the belly. So these are, uh, and that green shirt was brand new. It has never been owned before or worn before. Um, the red shirt is motherhood and maternity. I, can you tell I'm new at this? I'm not good at keeping things in order. This shirt is, it, it's from a boutique. It says babies and bellies. Something lilac, lilac clothing. Their little tag is kind of hard to read. Um, the shorts are, I think they're Old Navy. Yes, these are Old Navy. So I actually got a size smaller than I normally would because Old Navy tends to run big, especially in their maternity clothes. And the Old Navy near me the maternity section never had small clothes last time I was there. I shouldn't say small clothes. They never had the smaller sizes. I don't know if it's just because it's a pop, like more popular sizes, but I would go and they never had anything that was like remotely close to fitting me. I usually just went to like their regular section and got stuff, um, which brings me to my last thing that I got. It is not a maternity piece. It is a regular piece, um, but kind of you start to figure out like what will work for you and what doesn't work for you when you are pregnant. And I'm able to wear a lot of like regular stuff and like if it's stretchy, it works out. Um, but sometimes I don't want to stretch out like my, I don't want to say my good stuff, but something that I'm like, you may not because you do stretch stuff out and sometimes it won't stretch back. So I got this cute little, it's a exhilaration so it's a target line this little black and white dress it looks like it could be a maxi dress but it's not it's more like it's past the knees but um but not to my ankles and I'm short so <laughs> it may be a knee length dress on regular sized people but it's just a small um some people will size up target's kind of a weird one for me sometimes I wear an extra small sometimes a small but I figured once I get my belly, like when I get my belly, I tend to actually like to wear a little bit tighter of stuff because I don't look so big. Um, but it's a cute little, let me stand up. 
It's a cute little, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see. You can't see. But it's a cute dress um, that I was excited to get. I actually like knew I wanted a black and white striped dress. So I kind of just looked and saw there was a really cute one. And I think it was maybe J. Crew, but it was twice the price of this Target one. And I figured since it was just probably for like me and maternity for the most part this summer, um, I didn't need to spend a lot. And this would be super cute with like a jean jacket and flip flops. I just feel like it's really versatile. I could even just throw it over my bathing suit um, for when we go to the pool. So that is my thread up haul this time. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven items for, you know, right around a hundred bucks. So definitely I think it's, you know, for us more frugal spenders, um, I do like to splurge every once in a while. There are things, there are fashion items I save up for, you know, whether it's a sho it's shoes or a purse. So I try to say that I'm like a fun mix of high end, but I also live like the regular mom life. I go to Target, I, you know, go to the mall because when you have kids, like your stuff is going to get ruined. So that's what um, I do. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything about this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Gabbing Ginger, and if you just Google Gabbing Ginger, you'll also find my blog, but I will make sure to link that below as well. Thanks, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Someone wanted to come say hi. You say hi. So we don't have our shirt on. You say hi. Say hi, Chu. Welcome to the vlog. Bye, y'all.